problem after the next. Correct. Correct. Are there any other um, problems coming from bad oral hygiene? You've already mentioned gingivitis and periodontitis. Um, you can also have the other common thing that I get in the office is actually receiving gums. Um, when you brush too hard or when you're very abrasive in brushing, then that's the time the gums um, run away from the from the trauma. Okay. Then your gums recede out. But Doc, how do you know though? Because you know sometimes you just want to make sure that everything's out, so you kind of brush voraciously. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, I guess the only thing that... because. When you smile to people, right, they, they only see the front teeth. Mm -hmm. But it's us dentists who can really go in and check all the back teeth as well. So you really have to go to your dentist and visit them regularly. Goodness. That's what I would say. I mean, I go twice a year, but I've had gingivitis before. And what do you say to people who don't even make it a point to make it part of their regular regimen, I suppose, for the year? They'd rather prioritize the doctor. Exactly. That's why, unfortunately, us teeth, you know, until the teeth complains, and that's the only time that they will come. Mm -hmm. um, when I say to um, patients, it's like, you know, having a car. If you don't have your car checked regularly, then in time, it, it will soon bog down. Right. So it's the same thing for teeth. And as I said, unfortunately, teeth are the last options. And they'll say that, never mind, the pain will go away. Um, I can wait on this, and then later on, it's actually a double problem already for them. And how hard is it to actually replace teeth? Obviously, the foundation is broken. Let's say the teeth fall out. What kind of steps do you do? Because it, and it's not just about looking okay. It's about if this is ill, the whole body follows because that's a lot of bacteria oh, um, in there. Yes. Um, in fact, there are, there are new studies now to show that people who have heart problems mm -hmm. um, uh, usually do have gum disease and they have found gum bacteria, okay. particularly in patients who have the, the blood clots, people who have died of, let's say, heart attack. So they study the blood clots and they have seen gum bacteria there. Wow. Nowhere else can it be found except in your mouth. So, that, so does that travel? Yes. Okay. So now they are relating gum disease to to um to heart problems as well. And also for pregnant women, I know that yes, you know um, there's a checklist of what you have to do to stay healthy during correct, pregnancy. Correct. Because um, um gum disease again have been noticed to be present for mothers who have low preterm birth weight. Okay. So it, it, it's always a must to really have it checked. And aside from being pregnant at the time, we have hormonal changes. Okay. And definitely hormonal changes can also affect the gingiva as well. Wow. And we have no control on that except to have good proper oral hygiene. But Doc, you are a dentist, but how do... You're known as a periodontist as well, but yes. how do people, because we don't have many periodontists here, yes. how do you go yeah. into, the, into this record and say, okay, yeah, yeah, actually I'm very few. Today. We do have uh, a society, um, the Periodontal Society of the Philippines, so um, our Philippine Society of Periodontology, okay. and we are in the website also, you can also find us there. Okay, that's good. Well, we've heard about all of the the different diseases mm -hmm. that you can get. So maybe when we come back, we'll talk to you about the treatments that you can give them, all right? So we are gonna discuss the treatments after the break. Stay tuned, Shop Talk, we'll be right back. <laughs> 